Okay guys, today we're watching Attack on Titan, episode 68. Now, okay, from last episode, well, there was such unforeseen events that occurred, right? And Gabby and I think Falco snuck onto uh, the ship, and as a result, Sasha was killed. Now, oh man, the, the last moments that Sasha and everyone had with her was quite uh, sad to say the so the least like Sasha and everyone else grew up together right they went through so many tough times and for su such a thing to happen is so unfortunate but nonetheless let's jump into episode 68 so let's get into it This is when um, Armin was snuck onto, I mean, snuck into the army, right? I forgot Peak remembers Armin. Aaron's just carrying a whole damn battleship. <laughs> Dude, that's so savage. It's kind of like having your enemies by the balls and bringing them on land like that. Oh, Armin. Yeah, Some other people here too. あ、<笑> だったらどうする。なんとかして周りに伝えるから。いや、素晴らしい。期待以上。現在周りは複数の国と戦争状態にある。パラディート あなた方は周りに恨みを持つ亡国の民であり、マレグに潜入する諜報員のようなものなのかな。諜報などと呼べるような代物だと思いません。マレグに故郷を奪われ、兵士として徴用された我々はとても悲劇です。あの大国に
相手は獣の巨人だぞ奴らの目的は終始一貫して始祖の巨人の奪還力づくがダメなら Okay, I was wondering how they form relations and how was Zeke Zeke 曰くエルディア人の問題を一挙に解決する秘策があるとその秘策を行う条件として必要なものが始祖の巨人と王家の血を引く巨人その秘策を明かせるのは条件が揃ってからだ引くに大変<笑>それは本当です思い出したんですこれが一度だけ始祖の巨人の力を発動させることができたのは王家の血を引く巨人と接触した瞬間でしたその巨人は父の妻だった<笑>ダイナフリーズのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのシャーマンのもう大丈夫だぞ。それは、ね。もう大丈夫だぞ。それは、ね。もう大丈夫ただ、<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> They've been in the, the whole world was within the walls. So, there's a lot of things when you, you know, travel around the world about different cultures. You think many things that you learn, it's crazy. Okay, well, damn, they got a feast. Makes sense in here at the ocean, right? Well, they never had this before. Oh my gosh, what a treat, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's so sad looking back at this. You know how Sasha went down. <笑><笑>よく協力してくれたねそりゃ最初はお互い疑心暗鬼でうまくいかなかったよでも時間をかけて肩書きを抜きにして人同士向き合えばきっと分かり合える あるね。ベルトルトの教会は何か見てる。ああ。いや、役に立ちそうなものはいらない。時間はねえぞ。ジークの寿命は。このまま家れなたちも作戦通りに進めていいのかな。それじゃ本当に世界を恐怖に陥
の道があったんじゃないかってそればかり考えてしまう僕は誰よりもエレンを理解してしまっただったミカサよりもでももうわからないあれじゃなんか近づけんじゃねえよおいニコロ大丈夫かクソなんでだよ Well, because、uh, Nicola is probably one of the、um, Marlians when they took them from the shore, right? From three years ago, right? ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
it was like three years ago, Zeke had a proposal and these were some certain conditions and uh, at first uh, people of Paradise didn't believe him but then Aaron knows that he has this power and he thinks that Zeke is probably telling the truth for the most part. So that's when the relationship began and you know there's like some flashbacks here and there of the, the fontas with Sasha and whatnot and you know whenever someone passes away it's Sometimes you don't even have the chance to say goodbye, and it's like the toughest part. And yeah, that's pretty much what it for. You know, there's, there's the Sasha section, and then if they're keeping Zeke under wraps as well. I don't think they're you know they're not gonna tell people pretty that they had the beast time. They're gonna keep that quiet, and I think they're pretty much keeping him in captivity. I guess in this prison of it, some big tree. I guess preventing him to try to transform or whatnot. I don't know if it, it would even contain uh, Zeke. So yeah, that pretty much does it for this episode of Attack. And time and whew, it wasn't much action but like even though if there isn't like an anime doesn't need continuous action at least as the story is progressing it keeps you interested which you know it is it's really me in uh, that's all i could ever ask for so guys um thank you guys for coming by and i hope to see you guys in the next episode of the legendary this will be the 69th episode of attack on time all right peace I'm going to